Good evening. Welcome to C3 at Christ Church. My name is Gina Mar Simmons. I'm the Director of Missions and Outreach here at Christ Church. Joining me this evening is Michael Keha, who we'll get to know a little bit better um, during this presentation. Our focus this evening is talking about service and the opportunity to participate in our Christ in the Community event that is scheduled for Saturday, September 25th. We will meet here at 8.30 in the morning for worship and celebration, and then fan out across the South Hills, as well as across our campus, to complete projects that share Christ's transforming love. We started this event in 2019. We had over 498 individuals deployed in service. We actually suspended worship on Sunday and our act of worship that day was to be in relationship and in the community making a difference. This year, we've decided to do it on a Saturday so more organizations could participate and that we would have an opportunity for families to be together on Saturday in service. Michael, thank you for being with me tonight. My pleasure. Tell me a little bit about your relationship to Christ Church. How long have you been a member? How do you participate? We joined Christ Church in May of 1993, so we're coming up to almost 30 years in the church. Great. Um, we had been exploring uh, different opportunities in the, the church and churches here in the South Hills, and there was something about Christ Church that always kept us coming back. So eventually, we, there we figured. God was directing us here, so we joined, and um, our whole family has been active in, in the church. Um, I've been a leader of a small group and participant in a small group. I've served on uh, various committees. I'm now a member of SPRC, and I was a delegate to annual conference for Christ Church for a number of years, so um, we seem to be here at least two or three times a week in one way or another. Uh, well, thank you for the many ways you support the work of Christ Church. Um, I know Karen, your wife, is also very involved in a small group as well as mm -hmm. um, helping with our weddings. So um, we thank you both for being part of the fabric of what we do at Christ Church. Well, it's part of our lives. I saw you yeah. last night at yeah. the Connection Team meeting. Tell me what appeals to you about being part of that team uh, Karen and I have been greeters uh, here at Christ Church for a number of years. We enjoy welcoming people to our church and to providing them with any kind of help we can if they're new or visitors, to directing them to the places that they're, they're looking for. Um, and so being part of that, we're, we were here last night getting new information about how that process is going to change in the coming months and looking forward to to uh, being part of that new group. Oh, well, thank you so much for the ways that you helped to bring Christ's love um, to people through our church. Uh, last night, there were over 70 individuals at the um, Connections meeting, and that is a way that you can serve here on our campus. Um, so if you're interested in that, please reach out to the, the church office and we will get you connected there. I wanted to talk to you, Michael, about your experience with Christ in the community in 2019. When you first heard that we were going to meet for a brief period of, of worship on that Sunday morning, but then go out in the community, what was your initial reaction? You know, actually, I think my initial reaction was, well, that's not my thing. I don't do that sort of thing um, oftentimes. And the more I thought about it, I was given a prompting that maybe it's time for me to get out of my comfort zone. So Karen and I talked about it and decided that we would take part and do whatever we could. Um, and, and I was just sort of blown away walking in on that Sunday morning and seeing, as you said, almost 500 members of Christ Church signed up to go work wherever we were, were sent. Uh, to be part of the community and be in the community as the church. Mm -hmm. Well, I, it strikes me as a little bit um, of a contrast when you say that wasn't, you didn't think that was your thing because serving seems to be so much at the heart of how you interact here at Christ Church. Was, were you talking more about going out and getting dirty? Well, no, because we get dirty at home all the time. <laughs> okay. um, 
but but being out in the wider community mm -hmm. is is not something that um, I, I guess I felt really really comfortable with. Though I think one of the outcomes of being part of Christ in the community was to realize how much fun that is and um, what an impact mm -hmm. we can have uh, together as if we go out. Well, you were one of a large group of people who uh, descended upon a gentleman's house. His name was also Michael, yep. mm -hmm. uh, here locally in Bethel Park. Did you select that site uh, off the website, or do you, do you get assigned? Do you have a... I think we were just assigned okay. to it. Um, um, tell me a little bit about what you first encountered. What was the scope of the work? And Well, the, as you said, we went to a house over on Bethel Church Road, mm -hmm. um, um, a single gentleman lived there. Um, the The house had um, needed some help. Mm -hmm. um, it had not been taken care of. Uh, plantings had overgrown it. You couldn't even get to the front door because bushes had grown up. And were, I think the, uh, the post office was not even delivering mail because they couldn't get to the mail slot yeah. um, with it. So our job was really to to try as much as we could in one day to uh, take uh, the house in hand and kind of get it straightened around, which um, we did. We had a large group, I think, I don't remember the exact number, but it's probably between 20 and 30 of us. There were, there working. were, I think at least 36 over the course of the day on that site. Um, yeah. There were chainsaws. There chainsaws were <laughs> and nippers and hedge trimmers and extension ladders and power washers and all kinds oh, of things yeah. that, uh, that we used. But it was fun. We, we met with Mike mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning. Um, Pastor Chris was there and led us in, in prayer. And Mike and a friend of his then went off and had breakfast and had a whole day out while we basically ripped into his house and, <laughs> and uh, took care of it. But we uh, cut down bushes and we even cut down trees. I remember Chris had arranged for a massive construction dumpster. Oh yeah. And I thought, how are we ever going to fill that? <laughs> well, we did and probably could have filled the second one by the time we were actually um, done with it. Um, but by the end of the day, the house looked pretty good. You could get to the front door. We even, I think, uncovered some stone walks that had been, yes. uh, were overgrown um, with that. Um, and so it, it felt really good to, to walk away and look at the house. Actually, I drove by after you had called me just to see how it was. And it still looks pretty good. I it think does. that, um, you know, it, it's been taken care of over these past two years. So um, it, it was a great experience and it was fun to work with so many people from the church. I was thinking about that this morning. It was a very diverse group. We had youth who were working mm -hmm. um, with us. We had young couples. We had more, uh, shall we say, mature couples uh, <laughs> in it. I was thinking specifically of the Dom family, mm -hmm. Gary and Linda, and their daughter and son were there, and their grandson was there. So there were three generations of the Dom family working on this. And I thought, what a neat experience. That's special. For, for them and for those of us who um, were watching mm -hmm. them, they, one of the things I learned is that people are always watching you and uh, how you act and what you do can have an impact. I was real, remembering, um, we were, I think it was mid afternoon or something. One of Mike's neighbors was going and she stopped at the house and she said, do you need anything? I'm going to the store. Yeah. She wasn't a member of Christ Church. She wasn't part of our group. She was just a member. And, uh, but she had seen what we were doing and was pleased with it and so was willing to help. Uh, and when we got to the point of power washing, um, we realized there were no exterior outlets on the house. But the lady next door was out working in her garden. And so we went over and asked if we could tap into her electricity for a while to run the power washers. And she said, of course, go ahead and, and do it. But people stopped by all day asking what we were doing. And it was very gratifying to tell them who we were and what we were doing and why we were doing it. And I think um, anecdotally later, we learned that people, he had lived in that home for 30, 40 years. It was his parents' home and that um, 
neighbors who had never spoken to him before kind of congratulated him and connected with him um, in a new way. Mm -hmm. And so for him to feel a bigger sense of being part of that neighborhood um, was a gift that that team of people brought. Um, so did you meet new people on the team that you continue from Christ Church that you continue to say, oh, I remember working next to them? Well, it's been a couple of years and we had COVID in between. Sure. So um, it, it was a fun day to get to know some people, uh, at least for that day. And um, others we knew already from church. Mm -hmm. And so to, to interact with them in a very different kind of way was a blessing as well. We got to know a different aspect of what they do and who they are. Yeah. We're at the point where um, people can sign up online to be part of the um, day of service on September 25th. What would you want to tell people who've never been part of Christ in the community, um, what would you say to encourage them to participate? I would encourage people to take part. First of all, it's fun. It, it was really a great day. Uh, a lot of laughing, a lot of stories being told, um, and you don't have to be skilled in particularly anything. It was, you know, we just all chipped in and did what we could, there was always somebody who seemed to know what needed to be done and how to do it. They would give us instructions and off we go. So you don't have to feel like you have to be a professional carpenter or mm -hmm. landscaper or whatever it might be. God will use whatever skills you bring uh, into that situation. Um, and I think you'll feel really good about it. We, we've always believed in this church in, in reach and outreach. And, and this was a great way of reaching out to the community for a relatively short amount of time um, and making a difference in somebody's life, uh, which I think is what we're really called to do. Mm -hmm. um, I do remember I was tired <laughs> at the end of the day, um, but it was a good tired. It okay. was, uh, you know, I had expended my energy in somebody else's cause, not in my own. Mm -hmm. That's great. I notice um, Michael is wearing his Christ in the Community t-shirt. And we do have those available again this year. You can purchase them online at ChristUMC.net slash Christ in the Community. They're $10 a piece. There is a pretty blue and a dark gray color. And we have sizes for toddlers through adults this year. Um, they are advanced purchase, so I encourage you if you would like one. Uh, they will have the Christ in the Community logo that you can see, um, as well on the back ha will have our mission statement. Um, so when you're in the community, people can see who you are and what you believe in and it gives you a talking point to talk about the day of service uh, that we hope you will all participate in. So signups have opened. Have you looked at the list? Or are you anticipating participating again this year? I'm sure we will. Good. It was a good time last time, so we're looking forward to it again. I'm looking forward to welcoming all of you in the congregation to participate. We have activities that are appropriate for small children, to what did we call them, mature adults. Uh, so there are some activities that you can do seated. There's um, making UMCOR hygiene kits for those who have recently been flooded. I think there are supplies for 400 kits. Um, I've never seen that many washcloths and hand towels in my life. Uh, but we have those. Uh, we're working on Meals on Wheels favors for our local uh, distribution site at Bethel Presbyterian Church. Uh, that activity will happen here. There are cards for veterans. We will be doing bean packaging again for South Hills Interfaith Movement. Um, that's always good. There's dried chickpeas everywhere when all is said and done. Uh, but it's a huge blessing to that community that uses the services um, of South Hills Interfaith Movement. There's activities in the community. There are several homes that have been nominated uh, for a little extra TLC. Um, it is not too late. If you or someone you know, they don't have to be church members, has a need that we can fulfill, we will look to put a team together. The nomination form is on our website at ChristUMC.net, 
Christ in the community. And I ask for quite a few details and that you approach the person who you want to nominate to see if they're willing to accept a team. There is no cost to that family or that homeowner. Um, we are willing to do outside landscaping. Uh, we've got at one site that there'll be some pressure washing, um, a little bit of outdoor painting, uh, removing some fencing. So there are a lot of different skill sets uh, that are um, required for different jobs, but through the sign up, you'll be able to see that. For those who are working three hours or more, we will provide a lunch. I think I remember you saying, Michael, that that was the best turkey sandwich you would add. Yeah, yeah you remember that. <laughs> so uh, we will provide water and lunches to make sure that everyone stays hydrated and keeps their energy up. So um, I want to take this opportunity to say that you all are welcome. There will be a role for you no matter what your skill level is or your stamina. Um, so please look on our website, ChristUMC.net, Christ in the Community. You can buy a t-shirt, you can sign up to serve, or you can nominate someone who you think could use a blessing from Christ Church. We believe strongly at Christ Church that service is part of our DNA and part of who we are as Christians to be able to reach out and help those who might be challenged. Um, so please take this opportunity to be part of kind of a pretty big movement, I think. Um, it's pretty exciting to anticipate our time together. Again, it's September 25th. We will meet here at 8.30 for almost all of the teams, and then by 9 o'clock, we'll be headed out to um, serve those who may have a need. God bless.